Yo, what up, dudes? <laughs> I say that all the time. Um, how do you spell Zach? Oh, man, I don't even know how to spell please Zach. I'm assuming it's this. Yikes. There might be an A there, though. I'm not sure. And then you guys know this guy. Um, I wanted to do a video because uh, I've been working with a lot of clients lately who are struggling with, like, direction. And basically the, the simple notion of, like, how to maximize your body's energy production, how to maximize your arm's acceleration, all of these things. And, and what I mean by maximizing them is making sure that the generated energy, right, so all of the energy that we generate between our body and all the, the velocity and all the speed of uh, all the moving parts – making sure that we're optimizing the direction to maximize all of that energy production. So two guys here, really cool angles of their video. Um, front angle is going to give us a pretty good indication. The reason why I wanted to do these two is because they kind of go about it pretty differently in terms of their loading phase. So we're going to see their loading phase. Please act. Um, Ooh, there's his last name. I think I spelled it right. Yeah, I did. So you're going to see him. He's like super like counter rotated, right? So, showing his number this is a pretty good delay mechanism for his pelvis bower his loading mechanism is going to be pretty much like spot on in terms of what i i guess you would teach right everything kind of going linear um and now you're going to see the front side or his, his glove arm long please zach he's got more uh flexion but even though they both go about this differently in terms of their load and their their ability to generate power you're going to see them express this and, and distribute their energy both linear, which is impressive because usually with guys like Plezak who have this over counter rotation, they'll struggle usually just the instability thing. They'll struggle with like then counter and um, compensating. Yikes. Compensating their trunk by over rotating, even though Plezak being the athlete he does, he is doesn't do that. Right. So now as he gets into his anchor point, you're going to see a little bit of horizontal trunk tilt, and then he's going to then go into his throw, but still take his energy towards his task. All right, so you see he came from here, anchored down, and then he initiated his rotation, pulled the arm through, and then it's coming towards home plate. So the, the desired task location is a huge piece, right? Because we want to be making sure that the ball, everything behind the baseball is going towards where our task is. If it's not, then it's, it's potential wasted energy. Now we're talking, you know, maybe like tenths of a percentage or maybe more, who knows, but like when it comes to truly optimizing this art, we call throwing a baseball, it's a huge piece to it. Right. So, so with Plezak starts counter rotated, builds up energy. And as soon as he anchors down, he's going to pull everything and make sure that it's going towards the target. Now, yes, at ball release, you have this tilt, but there's a difference between this tilt and actually having to pull the body to make way for the arm. So with Bauer, pretty much picture perfect. <laughs> this might vary a little bit because I think Bauer's on a slider, but you can see here, he's pretty much linear the whole entire way. His direction's established from the get-go, right? And he establishes direction here, and now he pulls the arm through, boom, anchors down. Now we're going to see him really take his energy towards his target. Okay, so let's get these at ball release. So with Bauer, you have a little bit more linear with the trunk. Please act a little bit rotated. But nonetheless, both taking energy towards home plate. Um, I have a bunch of videos, I think, from a recent lesson that I did with a kid who was struggling with this. Um, because the, the disconnection of, of like, so the, the bad of this, right? So which would mean like the body pulling because the arm is dragging. Right. So that would be like the, the breakdown of someone not optimizing their direction. Like I said earlier, it gets misinterpreted sometimes because you'll see someone that, you know, has has a pretty good amount of like trunk pull, 
but it's only because maybe they have a higher slot. For me, example, go watch my slow mo videos. Like you're gonna see me like drastically have this trunk tilt, but it's only because my arm slot's high and it has to make way. But the way that my trunk Dang, that's a good, that's freaking so cool. Uh, what was I saying? The way that my trunk works is it still takes energy towards home plate, even though I have to pull a little bit to make way for the arm. Now, if someone is struggling with this direction, like I said earlier, with what you'll see is the body begins to initiate acceleration down the slope and the hands just not, it's not with it, right? So then what you'll see is drag and disconnection. And then the arm has to then get back into the slot and the, the way that that works is the body then will will aggressively pull away from that desired task location just to, just because the arm is dragging and disconnected that's one example that was the example that I, you can check out one of the videos if you go to the playlist that i have on my youtube of, of in-person pitching lessons you can see something it'll, it'll be tired tired what <laughs> oh man it'll be titled um uh, something about arm disconnection forces misdirection or something like that but that's only if you want anyways yeah that's all i got for you guys um cool hopefully you enjoyed it <laughs> congrats on uh the cy young bauer you're good please zach had a heck of a year and for now i'm out god bless love you guys till next time peace